Hey, what's going on? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineeringtrainingexam.com. And in this video, we will review separable differential equations, a type of nonlinear first order differential equation. A separable differential equation is any differential equation that can be written in the form ny dy dx is equal to mx. Note that in order for a differential equation to be separable, all the y's in the differential equation must be multiplied by the derivative and all the x's in the differential equation must be separated on the right side of the equal sign. Now the process of solving separable differential equations is fairly easy. The first thing we need to do is rewrite the differential equation such that the equation takes the form ny dy is equal to mx dx. And then all we need to do from there is take the integral of both sides. After integrating, we hopefully will have an implicit solution that we can then solve for the explicit solution, yx. Now recall from the def, def defining the section before that the implicit solution is a solution that is not in the form y is equal to yx, while an, while an s explicit solution has been written in that form. So let's look at an example here. Let's say that we're given the initial uh, value problem of dy dx is equal to 6y squared x, where y1 is equal to 1 over 25. So the first thing we need to do is rearrange this equation into the form of a separable differential equation and integrate. So to do that, we just get the y's on one side and the x's on uh, one side along with the dy dx. So, uh, so in other words, we'll just divide through by y squared and we'll get y negative 2 dy and then uh, multiply through by dx so we get 6x dx. So that's just simply rearranging rearranging the uh, equation back into the form of a separable differential equation. Now all we need to do is integrate. So we integrate both sides and we find that the uh, this comes out to be 1 divided by y is equal to 3x squared plus c. So now we have an implicit solution. This is an implicit solution because it's not written in the form of uh, y is equal to yx. Now we can easily determine the explicit explicit solution from here, but before we do so, let's use the initial condition to determine what the constant of integration is going to be. So we know that uh, y1, y at 1, is equal to 1 over 25. So all we need to do is uh, plug in these values to, de to determine c. So we got 1 over 1 divided by 25 is equal to 3 times 1 squared plus c. And just solving that, we'll find that c is equal to negative 28. So our constant of integration is equal to negative 28. Now plugging this back into the equation, we get negative 1 over y is equal to 3x squared minus 28. And now let's just get y by itself on the left side to get our explicit solution. And we find that yx is equal to 1 divided by 28 minus 3x squared. So that is our explicit solution of this separable differential equation. So explicit solution. Let's look at another example here. Let's say that we're given another initial value problem uh, with the function y prime is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 divided by 2y minus 4 with the initial value y1 is equal to 3. 
So first thing we need to do is rearrange this equation uh, into the separable differential equation format. So we just uh, divide through or multiply through 2y minus 4 and uh, notice that this y prime is dy dx. So multiplying through we get 2y minus 4 is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 and uh, multiplying through uh, dx we get 2y minus 4 dy is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 dy. So now integrate both sides and this is equal to y squared minus 4y is equal to x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x plus c. Now let's use our initial value right here to determine what the fact or the constant of integration is. Just plug in our values. So we got 3 squared minus 4 times 3 is equal to 1 to the third plus 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus c and we find that c is equal to negative 2. So with this we can determine our implicit solution and our implicit solution is going to be equal to y squared minus 4y is equal to x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2. So that's again our implicit solution. So now we need to determine what our explicit solution is. We need to get this function into the format of y is equal to yx. So to do that we first need to rewrite it. Uh, let's rewrite it as y squared minus 4y minus x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. So to solve this, all we need to do is recognize that this is a quadratic in y, and so we can use the quadratic formula to solve it. However, unlike quadratics you are used to, at least some of the constants in this quadratic will not actually be constants, but will in fact involve x's, and I'm talking specifically about this term right here. So the quadratic in this case, uh, we have to define, since we're going to use the quadratic equation, we've got to uh, define a, b, and c. So a is going to equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to negative x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2. So plugging that into the quadratic, we got um, quadratic equation. We got yx is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 4 times x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 all divided by 2. So now we can factor, uh, we can look at this uh, equation and know that we can factor out a 4 uh, out from under the square root and it will come out as a 2 and then simplify a little. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with a clean page here. Let's factor out the 4 and then simplify and we get uh, yx is equal to 4 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 4 plus x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 all divided by 2 and we can simplify this even more as 2 plus or minus the square root of x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 so notice that we actually, this is, uh, this is our solutions here, notice that we actually have two solutions.
plus or minus, but there's only a single solution, explicit solution to this separable differential equation. So to figure that out, which one is correct, we can apply the initial condition to this. So plugging in 1, x equal 1 into the solution, we get y1, which is equal to 3, is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 1 to the third plus 2 times 1 minus 4 times 1 plus 2 which is equal to which simplifies to 2 plus or minus uh, 1 so we know that our answer is going to be 3 or 1 and so we know in this case that the answer needs to be 3 so it can't be 2 minus 1 it has to be 2 plus 1 so in this case the plus is the correct sign for our solution so the explicit solution then is yx is equal to 2 plus x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 so that's our explicit solution and how we go about finding when we have to use the quadratic which one which of the two solutions plus or minus is correct so that's all I got for you guys today a quick review of uh, separable differential equations if you guys have any questions hop on over to engineerandtrainingexam.com and check out some more videos get on the uh, get on your journey to conquering this test get it out of the way and get on your way to becoming a professional engineer you guys can definitely do it so keep your mind straight and uh, keep coming back for more shoot me some suggestions or feedback if you have it I'll be glad to hear from you guys alright you guys take care alright bye